Hello everyone, William here. This is Larafant. In this video, I would like us to talk about accessors and mutators. An accessor transforms an eloquent attribute value when it is accessed. Whenever we have saved values in the database, sometimes when interacting with our data from the database, we may want to modify this data and have it presented in a specific way. For example, if we have two columns in a database the same way I'm having in my application, that is the first name and last name. We may use accessors to combine for us first name and last name in one place instead of combining it in so many other places. And we can do that inside our model. So let us go ahead and see how we can be able to define an accessor and see how it works. So I'm going to have a protected function, protected function full name. And then we are going to pass in the attribute as our return type. After that, we are going to return the attribute, return attribute make. And then inside here, we can go ahead and get our accessor. And so we can access it as follows. We do not need to pass in the value. So we need to access the this first name and then concatenate to this last name. And basically in doing so, we would be in a position to have uh, the values. But what I need to do is also to import the attribute above, illuminate database eloquent casts attribute. So once we import it, then everything is fine for us. So after that, I would like us to see if we can be able to access full name. And I would like to do that using Tinker. So I'm going to just uh, create a Tinker shell, PHP, artisan tinker and then we are going to have a user app models user and we will find a user with an id of one and then i can uh, just get user full underscore name and you can see it's combining the name for us the first name and the last name so here inside our um, Full name attribute, we use camel case. And then when we are accessing it, we can be able to use uh, this uh, other case. So this is an accessor. I would like us to talk about what a mutator is. And a mutator is the opposite of an accessor. A mutator transform a, an eloquent attribute value when it is set. So when we are about to set the value to the database, we can be able to use a mutator to transform whatever it is that is coming from probably the user input or somewhere within our application. As it transits towards the database, we can modify it before saving it inside uh, the database. So I also want us to do an example of that. And here I would like us to probably modify an email and uh, ensure that it is being saved in a lowercase so let us try that so what i'm going to have we will have a protected function again which i will call email and it will be an attribute again like that then we will have return attribute make and inside here we have now instead of get i want us to have set because we are setting a value to the database and then you have a function and inside here, we pass in the value. After that, we can be able to set the value to um, a lowercase. So in this case, we can access the value and just say, uh, make it a lowercase and pass in the value like that. So basically, this one will also work for us when we attempt to save uh, a value that is an email. In this case, it you change everything to small case and then we will have it like that. So I want us to try that. And I want us to exit Tinker. In order to test our email mutator, let us create a new user with 
the email capitalized. So I'm going to, now that we are done with our email uh, mutator, let us go ahead and create another instance of Tinker. And I would like us to create a user, but for this user that we are, we are creating, we, I want us to have the email in uppercase, and then we will use our mutator to modify the email and set it as lowercase and then save it in the database. So basically that is what I want us to do. So you say user will be given by new app models user should be capital user user first name William user last name Juma user email Juma William at example.com and as you can see it is in caps and the user password we just set it to we will hash the word password and then we will save the user so user save and it has been actually saved I would like to check the ID of this new user from our database maybe exit tinker temporarily and then we check the ID of uh, our user. So I will scroll down to where we have our database. It's a SQLite database. And I have installed the SQLite uh, viewer. So I can be able to view the database in uh, my uh, VS code. The table that I'm interested in is users. And I want to check the last record. It is the user with an ID of four. So if we are to check for the email, the way it has been saved, as you can see, it has been saved as lowercase. So basically that is how you can be able to use accessors and mutators. If you like this video, you can give us a thumbs up. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. And you can also go ahead and share this video such that many others can be able to benefit. Thank you very much.